What's going to guys? So I have no clue what I'm going to title and thumbnail this video as, but I'm sure you can tell what the content is going to be about our very first boat video, as well as first time towing with Chomper since the cam install. I'm going to go into detail how it is performing, but I'm sure the main question is, whose boat is this? Where did it come from? And what are we going to be doing with it on the channel? Let's talk about it because we got some fixing up to do. Hopefully we're going to hit the river today. All right, so I'm going to give you all the quick rundown. This is actually my boat. I bought it from my dad. I believe he bought it brand new. Some of my earliest childhood memories are in this boat. Um, it's a 1998 16-foot Express. Got the Backtrack trailer, black with the chrome wheels. Matching chomper like a freaking beast, if I do say so myself. But it's been in storage for a couple years. It's absolutely filthy. It doesn't run. The batteries are dead. Yeah, we, we got some work to do today, but hopefully we're going to be on the river by the end of this video. So, like I said, 16 foot. This is actually a crappie boat, but you can obviously fish anything with it. We've done majority bass fishing. Biggest fish I ever caught that actually got mounted was caught in this boat. I'll try to find a picture and throw it up here. Freaking beast. Got our batteries on charge already. I say it's on charge, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully they build up a little bit. I'd rather not have to buy two batteries today. I uh, got some new fuel in the back of Chomper. Hopefully this thing will crank up. We're gonna see. We're gonna hook some water up to it. We got our little thing. It's a Yamaha 40, two stroke. Well, it's a stick steer, which is kind of cool. Just like Chomper, it's got its little, little battle scars, but it's definitely withstood the test of time. Let's actually just, oh, dude. She's <laughs> she's gonna freaking crank. Watch this. We put some fuel in this thing. It's gonna crank. Don't know the future holds for it, but either way, we gotta get this thing cleaned up, running right. So let's uh, start knocking some things out. Probably doesn't come out with the batteries in there, does it? All right. There we go. Yes, it will. Let's wash this baby out. It's mixed fuel, so it's gonna be darker, but. definitely don't look too hot well for some unknown reason to me my shop vac does not have the little nozzle on it anymore and that's the only vacuum i have so i guess i'm just going to pull all those acorns in out by hand and then i guess get a new nozzle and vacuum it out another day Right there. Like that. And there's that. Simple enough. I'm gonna put dang near all of this in there. I'm having faith this thing's gonna crank up, y'all. We're gonna let all this dry for a wee little bit and uh, then hook the battery chargers back up. <laughs> Now we're gonna pump this thing until my arm absolutely explodes. Turn our water on. All right, a couple hours later and we're back from the boat store where we got a new fuel line. The other one was leaking. Um, so I just went ahead and got a whole new one specific for Yamaha. The fittings are correct. New pump, and we finally are pumping fuel. Listen, this baby's about to crank, boys. So I'm gonna hook the water back up. I'll throw you all on the tripod. Come on, baby, fingers crossed. Let's fire up.
initial pressure wash did great for knocking all the cobwebs off, but it's definitely going to take a good hand wash to get this thing shine back up like factory, as well as a ton of vacuuming to get all those acorns and stuff out. Unfortunately, I don't have time today. Got places to be, people to see, mainly my family. So it's going to be a couple days for me. It's only going to be like 20 seconds from now, from now for y'all. I'll catch up with y'all in a couple days at the boat launch. We're officially on the river. It's running. We're out of the wake zone. It's time to open this thing up and <laughs> see if it'll run right and uh, see if I can figure out how to drive this thing again. So let's do it. What is that? Oh, baby. Let's go! Oh yeah, we're getting bouncy. Alright, we gotta figure out the trim. since we're over here I'd have a little story time because in the wheel and tire video on the F-150 I talked about my buddy and I'm not gonna point to the house but he used to live right over here but what I wanted to talk about which was crazy was he when we were I don't even know I guess 15 around that age maybe a little younger yeah, probably around there he got friends with whoever owned this house at the time and the guy was always out of town and he literally just left us the keys and as you can tell there's one two three huge pier we could go in the boathouse we could go in the house he didn't care and there's a bunch of lights in the water so you could fish and we would just be out here all the time at some stranger's house enjoying the lake life which is hilarious a lot of good memories over here on this side of the lake because i spent a lot pretty much all summer for a couple summers over here well not even just summer during the you know, during school i'd come over and ride my four-wheeler over here every afternoon it was so freaking cold earlier howdy <laughs> It runs. Uh huh. <laughs> Say what up to the vlog. <laughs> All right, I'll let you go. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. I'm gonna take that as a win. Trolling motor's working. Literally everything's working. We gonna slide on out of here.
All right, so how is Chomper towing the boat? I ain't gonna lie, it ain't a big fan. It's a certified clap wagon while doing it, but it'll do it. Alright guys, well that's going to be about it for this video. I think the boat did absolutely amazing. No issues whatsoever. So, can't really complain for a boat that's been sitting for like three years to just crank up and rip like that. I honestly really surprised the carburetors weren't gunked up and stuff. But, yeah, I, I am pleasantly surprised everything works. Running good. I don't know what the crap's up with the beeping thing. I guess that's the only thing. I don't even know. I, I, have, I have zero clue. I've never heard that in my life. I'm guessing it's tripping out for some reason don't know let me know if you know uh but yeah y'all let me know if you uh enjoyed the little boat video i definitely still got to clean this thing up but i'm gonna not bore y'all with that uh chomper did amazing hopefully those shots at the boat launch were cool and you know just chopping it up hopefully the wind wasn't destroying the audio but um yeah chomper did good pulling it it's just a freaking clap wagon <laughs> screams bloody murder uh, pulling this boat, but uh, it, it doesn't have any issues with it. I mean, 35s, pulling a boat, and it being cammed, the world is against it right now, but it's still just being a beast. I think y'all are going to want me to maybe go out with Lauren, try to go do some fishing or something. I think that'd make for a pretty cool little vloggy vlog. So uh, if you do, drop a comment, because I will go do it. Y'all let me know, and I'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>